Hi, it's Mike, WB4HUC, and it's been a while since I've posted anything, but I do have something new. When I ordered my K4 transceiver two years ago, I ordered it without the sub-receiver, the optional sub-receiver. Saved some money, and at the time, I didn't know if I would want, want it or not, so I just ordered it without it. So the model number of the radio was K4. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I ordered the, excuse me, I ordered the uh, upgrade kit to add the second receiver to the radio. Elecraft has put a video out on YouTube to show you how to install it yourself. I did that. All of that worked fine. And I've been playing with it. So one of the things the uh, second receiver gives you is the ability to use diversity reception. Listen to two uh, stations on the same frequency using two different antennas. So the way this works is the sub-receiver uses VFOB and the main receiver uses VFOA. And uh, when you turn on the sub-receiver, you see this uh, symbol here that says K4D. So if I just push the button to turn the sub-receiver off, you'll see that goes away. And I turn it back on and it comes back. So the sub-receiver is active now. And the other thing you uh, probably want to do is link the two VFOs so that you can tune both VFO A and B with one knob. So if you notice here, if I change uh, frequencies, sorry, wrong mouse. I have a mouse on the computer and a mouse on the radio. So... You can see that both VFOs change at the same time. And if we unlink the VFOs, which will be to go here. I'm sorry, wrong mouse again. Uh, we go here. And the symbol up here that showed they were linked goes away. Now if I go up here and tune, I'm only tuning one VFO. So let's link those VFOs again. Then you see the symbol come back, and you see the symbol for both receivers. So we're ready to go. So all we have to do is find a signal, and the idea being, uh, if you're listening with two antennas, and the propagation changes, or perhaps just the way propagation is that day, you may hear the station stronger on one antenna than the other. So, and I can demonstrate that uh, in my situation, usually uh, on 17 meters up through 10 meters, the vertical does hear uh, most stations stronger than the wire antenna does. So I have two antennas. On my main receiver, I have my ZS6BKW wire antenna. On the sub-receiver, I have my 05 antennas, 10 through 40 meter ground plane. The... Uh, wire antenna is also the transceive antenna and the vertical antenna is plugged into a receive only antenna connection on the back of the radio so no transmitting on the vertical in this configuration so there you go uh, now I'm going to turn on the uh, receiver I'm sorry I'm going to turn the audio on to the rig and you'll hear uh, both the left and right uh, channels and then I can uh, lower the volume on either channel to show you how well we're hearing the uh, uh, station on the other antenna. So if I reduce the volume on the main receiver, you'll hear him only on the sub-receiver and vice versa. So here we go. Okay, so now you're hearing the sub receiver, and I've turned the volume down on the main receiver. Okay, 
and he's almost S5, give or take, on the vertical antenna on the sub receiver, and he's S3, give or take, on the main receiver and the wire antenna. So let's switch. I'm going to turn the volume down on the sub receiver with the vertical. I'm going to turn the volume up on the main receiver with the wire antenna. So you can hear the POTA station just, I think he's POTA, whatever he is, you can hear him just fine on either one, even though he's a little stronger on the sub receiver. The other stations, not so much. They're pretty weak. So let's see how they sound. We're on the main receiver. Let's see how they sound on the sub receiver. And of course, there's noise reduction and And then here's both antennas at the same time. Uh, we got a big one overnight. We got more rain coming. It's pretty calm right now. And now we're listening to both. So some of these weaker stations, you can't really even hear them on the wire antenna enough to, to make out what they're saying. And even on the vertical, they're not very strong, but they're better. So he gets better as I bring up the volume on the sub receiver. So he's really weak on the line. So this is so this is the wire antenna. Roger, Roger, got you fifty five with you, Victor fifty five West Virginia. So you can absolutely tell he was stronger on the vertical. But if you leave them both turned up, then the theory is that you know, regardless of which one is stronger, you'll hear that one, even if you don't hear the other.
and another. So there you go. Just a short demonstration of diversity reception on the K4D. And um, that's, to me, in my situation, that's probably going to be a little more useful than listening to two uh, bands at the same time. Although I might put the subreceiver on six meters. I'm a six meter operator. I might put the uh, sub-receiver on six meters and listen to that while I do other things on the uh, main receiver. But um, to me, this was a useful upgrade. It was expensive, but it was a useful upgrade. And, uh, you know, again, if I really were to sit here and, and try to tweak things, I could play with noise reduction and I could play with filtering and I could play with uh, high and low cutoff uh, on the receive filters and probably make even the weak ones a little better. But uh, here, if I had the noise reduction on, uh, you would see it. And if I had, and you notice that it came on on both uh, receivers. If I had the noise blanker on, that also came on on both receivers as well as the pen adapter. Um, AGC is slow on both. If I change the AGC, change it to fast, it changed on both receivers. So you don't have to make a change individually to each receiver. Anything you do is reflected in both. So, which is handy. Preamp. Uh, what I don't see is any preamp symbol over here, but I'm going to assume that it's on both receivers. Let's try. Nope. So the preamp didn't come on for both receivers. I had to turn on the uh, B set in order to turn the preamp on for the sub-receiver. And you probably want that, now that I think about it. Uh, but let's turn all this stuff off. Turn the preamp off. Turn the noise blanker off. Turn the noise reduction off. And turn the preamp off over here. So, there you go. So once you go into diversity mode, some things happen for both receivers and some don't. And I'm sure Ella Craft has thought all this out to decide which one shouldn't shouldn't apply to both receivers at the same time. Um, anyway, that's my little demonstration. So as always, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully it won't be such a long time before I post uh, something else new.